get in there. Oh my lord. I give them that, it is nice and secure. A tip to your kids at home. Always make sure there's an adult to supervise. Oh, so here we go. There's package number one, which will be a Helltech miner in there. So it's nicely packaged. Got some nice uh, bubble wrap enclosure inside. That'll be the box in there. So that's number one. And this should be number two, which is nice. I'm going to pop that in there for the time being. I'll lose that out of the way. I hope you can see that. Quick check in the camera. Yes, you can. Right, so. I'm going to open this bad boy up. Have a little look. So here it is, out of the bubble wrap packaging. Not oh, you're really interested, but that's the packaging that comes with a nice bubble wrap. It's lovely. Behold the box of Helltech. That's nice, it's got a little security seal on it. So that's nice. So very important here is the, uh, oops, hopefully you can see that. Let's double check. Obviously when you're ordering these things, you wanna make sure it's right for your country. They're very specific. So if you're in America, it's a, a 915 frequency, I believe. And, but for the EU, us boys, well, I'm in the UK. It's an EU868, so you need to specify that when you order one, so it's uh, correct for your country. There's all sorts of, uh, all sorts, let me say that again, all sorts of legal ramifications, I'm sure, about um, usage of airwaves and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, just ensure you've got the right one. Okay, so I've now cut the two little seals on the back of the box. The slider open. Aha, uh -huh. so here we go. This is what you get in the box. You get a little leaflet, which explains in fluent Chinese how to uh, connect up your hotspot. Oh, there is English version. Oh, that's good. For a second now, I start to panic, thinking I have to scratch up on my um, Cantonese or whatever it is there. But we're good. And here she is. It's actually smaller than I thought. Now, I've got girl's hands. I've got really tiny hands. I'm a proper girly. Ever seen a girl with hairy hands? Probably not, but you know, imagine a girl with hairy hands and that's sort of kind of like the uh, <laughs> the hands that I have. So, comes packaged in a nice box. What I might do is actually pick the camera up so you can see this a bit better. So there it is in my hand, to give you an idea. It does look nicely made, actually. Um, from what I understand as well, these bad boys have got a, uh, a fan on them, which is a little bit noisy, but hey, I don't care. It's, I could be sat there with it next to my bed. So, there again, there's the ports on the back. This is what I've got to figure out as well, because the antenna port here, uh, I want to upgrade that, because I'm not sure the stock aerials can be up to snuff, really. So. I want to improve my chances of getting some good mining in. And there's the uh, there's a warranty there. And what we've got here. So this is the details about the miner again. So EU868. Yeah, it looks nice actually. I'm I'm quite surprised. I'm not it's always one of these things that you never know quite what you're gonna expect. Um yeah, I think it's, it's, yeah, it seems very well made. Yeah, as you may have gathered it's Christmas, so yeah. I'm sat next to the Christmas tree. It's not actually Christmas Day. It's actually November the 29th, I think, today. So let's go open up to what else is in this in this box. So there's a little bit of nice foam packaging. Make sure your miner arrives in decent condition. That's gonna give that a little shake. Okay, so what have we got in here? A power cable. Well, that's not ideal. Um, Obviously, it's catering for EU, so that's an EU plug. I'm in the UK, so I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna have to do is get an adapter, I guess. Uh, what have we got here? This is the power supply. This actually isn't that big. I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. 
Uh, okay. And here's the aerial. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you can do with that, really. I'm, I'm no expert, but um, I don't know. It seems a little bit twee and small compared to some of the uh, the ones I've seen online. Guys with 12 meter uh, tall masts and stuff. So I'll probably have to do something about that. I'll probably upgrade that uh, um, in some way. But there you go. That is essentially the contents of the box right there in front of you for you to have a look at. There we go. Plug and miner right there. I don't want to do that. It's going to fall over. And I haven't waited two months to get my hands on this thing just to break it. There you go. Uh, I'll try and do a setting up video. I mean, I'm a complete noob at this. So, um, yeah, watch this space if you want to know more. Just want to do here is just twist it around so you can see it in all its glory. Okay, it's got the power button here. Along here is the LEDs. It seems really well made. It's nice. I mean, that that's like an aluminium. Feels like an aluminium case. Let's turn around to the side so you can see. It. There is the fan. Quite sure that is that might be is that USB. Can't quite figure out what that port is. Then on the back, so a grill, power. Uh, not sure what that is. I think it might be Eartha Kit or Ethernet. USB. That's where your aerial connects. I just ran on this side, near the vent, before we get back to the front. <laughs> 